Welcome back everyone to my series where I'm gonna play all through the Age of Empires campaign to the fourth part of the William Wallace campaign called Research and Technology. We are still in the tutorial campaign so I don't think it will be, will be all too hard but let's just jump right in and let's see what Rumors creep in from the south of a giant who leads the forces of Scotland, his great sword driving through earth and man and horse alike. If this mythical knight can hold the English advance, it will give us time to develop the arms we need. Even now our smiths are forging swords and fletchers are making arrows and crossbow bolts. Okay. English use very advanced weapons and armor. To win, you will need to advance Shark. to the feudal See age and repel the English raids. The You're going to need to research some technologies of your own to increase the strength of your civilization. For example, researching loom makes your villagers hard to kill. To research loom, click the town center, then click the research loom button. Wow, we have shawfish there. Shawfish is actually the fastest uh, Way to get the food in H Vampire. I guess we will have to. I don't know. Engage over the water or something? Oh, we have so many deer. We don't really have to waste our time with. Sheep or anything. So we j will research loom after that, like the man told us. Oh, even this fish. <sighs> Good. Researching technology costs resources, but improves your civilization. While you're researching, oh, no. you can put your villagers to work and use your military oh. units to explore. Oh. Guess I have too many in food right now. But I said I. In addition to gathering food in forage over. bushes, villagers can herd can sheep or hunt deer for food. Good! You're on your way to the feudal age. Bid fear, Margaret. Bid fear. Bid fear. I oh. hope we don't need to. Bid um... fear. No! New technologies and buildings become available when you advance to a new age. To advance from the Dark Age to the Feudal Age, you need 500 food. To arms! The English are making a sneak attack! Get a patrol into it, so we don't mess up the fight. Now that the battle is over, create some extra militia units at the barracks Replenish your forces. Oh. I will need some uh, some f uh, gold for the you know <laughs> for the men at arms upgrade. I guess that's where we'll they want to take me here. Forger. If I need to build on um, blacksmith, I guess I'm quite screwed because I have no wood whatsoever. I built too many mills. For the sweet, sweet Cold food bush. revenue. Congratulations! Advancing to the next stage is the best way to improve your civilization. Upgrading to man at arms will change all your militia units to the more powerful men at arms. Near the minimap at the lower right corner of the screen is the idle villager button. Click it and locate villagers who are not currently assigned to a task. Now that you're in the feudal age, you can upgrade your militia to men at arms. Click the barracks, 
Then click upgrade to men at arms. The English are attacking again. Teach them a lesson with your new men at arms. Oh no! Now you have enough food to advance to the feudal age. However, you also need two buildings from your current age. You already have a barracks. So now have your villagers build a mill. The mill is a drop-off point for food, so build it next to your food store. Now you can advance from the Dark Age to the Feudal Age. Click your town center. The English are no match for your warriors. Yeah! Yeah, I screwed that uh, narrator a little bit uh, up because I'm always doing this stuff right before he said it but that's just because Bargeted. I played the game really a lot it's not because I played this mission in particular so much I just see that I got resources and I build what I build and it happens Kid. to be not too bad yeah so I hope you enjoyed this episode oh the guy is talking again so long chance has invaded stormed and sacked the city of Perth it's worse He's captured the fabled Stone of Scone and declared himself King of Scotland. If we cannot bring about a victory in battle soon, then the Scottish armies will be too demoralized to put up any fight at all. If this mythical Scottish giant does exist, I wish he'd get his forces up to Stirling, where we shall next do battle. So, this were it. This was this episode. In the next episode, we're going for the Battle of Stirling, where we'll we'll have some actual fighting. I guess I don't know. I don't think they will leave you alone within town center and it will just let you play. I guess that's just in the Battle of Falkirk, but I'm not all too sure. But hey, I hope you join in for the next episode. I'm quite excited for it. So have a nice day and ciao, everyone.